this video is about what you do when you got a Breville espresso machine and the portafilter basket is clogged and coffee does not come out. I'll show you what I mean. Portafilter and basket in place. Turn on the machine. Nothing coming out because the basket is clogged. That's what it looks like inside there. Uh, this is a pressurized portafilter basket, which means it's got just a tiny little hole on the other side for the coffee to come out. And you can get all grunged up inside right there. there. Just a tiny little hole right there for the coffee to come out. And there's a uh, space in there. That stuff can get uh, kind of gummed up. Now, I mean, there's a couple of things you can try if you don't want to get into uh, using heavy duty cleaners. Uh, you can try descaling powder. Uh, that's really more for uh, mineral buildup. So uh, to the extent that it works on the, the buildup of coffee residue inside uh, these pressurized portafilters, yeah, who knows? I'll show you. This is a pressurized portafilter that you can open up. You open it up here and you can kind of see the, that's the kind of grunge that builds up inside there. And a little hole in there is just so tiny, it's easy to get clogged. Uh, you can also take this you know, drop it in a thing of boiling water and uh, see if that loosens it up, boil it for a little bit, then put it back in the espresso machine and uh, run water through it, and that might help. But if not, uh, give a try with uh, the uh, solution that I'm using, which is uh, oven cleaner or uh, uh, like a pipe cleaner. Uh, just be careful if you use it, because it is cold. Okay, you are going to want a source of sodium hydroxide. Uh, that could be drain cleaner, like uh, this here, or oven cleaner. Most oven cleaner is sodium hydroxide based. Sodium hydroxide is a super strong uh, base, and it will eat pretty much or dissolve pretty much any kind of food uh, gunk. Um, read the labels on these things. Be careful because this will, as it shows right here, burn your skin. Uh, pretty quick and I also like to use this stuff outside of it. So I'm super cautious with this stuff. I, uh, I use gloves and I have eye protection on and I'm doing it outside. So I'm adding sodium hydroxide to here, mixing her up. And then I'm gonna leave that sit overnight. That is what it looks like after having sat a couple of days. I'm going to dump that out and then I'm going to rinse it really well with water. Uh, again, being careful not to uh, get any of that on my fingers because it is corrosive. There we are. Uh, rinsing this thing off real good. And I'm going to pop it inside the portafilter. Lock the portafilter in to the machine. that really well. Just to do a little bit of overkill, I'm going to fill that up with vinegar. Uh, drain cleaner, oven cleaner, has sodium hydroxide in it, which is a base. Vinegar is an acid, and vinegar neutralizes base. So I'm going to throw some vinegar in there just to kind of, as an extra precaution to make sure it's completely neutralized. I've tasted the water coming out of it, and it just tastes absolutely fine, but... Eh. Okay, I just want to say once more, uh, using drain cleaner or oven cleaner uh, is uh, you got to be cautious it is it does have sodium hydroxide in it which will burn you so uh, be careful use rubber gloves rinse really well afterwards and uh, if you can help it don't breathe it uh, same goes when you're using oven cleaner. <laughs> People put that stuff on and stick their head in the oven and breathe away, and it's, uh, it's really hard on the lungs. Anyways, good luck. Hope this helps you out. 